All right, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rahakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine, who I learned is true from according to the Bible. I'm the Ikeem Ha'amayan and Shalom <clears throat> to the hopeful elect that is pushing this truth and our righteousness and in sincerity around the four winds of the earth and to the sincere believers and the few Akwaf, okay, the sincere sisters that's coming back being quiet, silent, as the scriptures commanded them to do so, okay. Um, this morning, I'm going to the book of uh, Zephaniah chapter 2 because it's important we want to be hid from Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's wrath. Now, we want to be hid from the Lord's wrath. The Lord is angry. Okay, Israel, the Lord is angry, man. He's angry with us. Okay? The hopeful elect, we're trying our best. Lord willing, we be a part of that number. Okay? Because individually, brothers believe that they're, um, brothers believe that the Lord is dealing with them, man. Okay? We're not puffed up. We're not with none of that type of arrogant spirit, man, but we're confident, though. That the Lord is dealing with us because we want that mercy from you, how about some out shot? Okay? We want that mercy. We, I understand myself, and I know the Akim as well understand that the servant is not greater than the master, man. Okay? But it just just to run, just to bring some scriptures out because uh, you never know who's watching your videos as far as the sincere believers. Because we're only pushing this for the elect to seal up the elect because the elect is going to still be sealed up whether you like it or not. Whether you're doing this work or not, whether you believe or not, prophecy is going to be fulfilled, man. But nevertheless, this is Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired, before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, before the day of the Lord's anger come upon you. It said that twice. Before the fierce anger and before the Lord's anger. We don't want no smoke. We don't want we don't want we don't want to feel the Lord uh anger, man. Okay? Just think about the worst thing you've been through already. The Lord killing your child, the Lord even putting you in the hospital, the Lord bringing you real low. Your fear. Think about last time you were real scared, man. Literally. Okay? The Lord is coming like a thief in the night, man, to the ones that are not on their watch, man. But for the ones who consider it, the hopeful elect, the one-third, we, we, we are anticipating, man. We're prepared. Okay? We're redeeming the times. Circumspect. We've been circumspect, man. We want to be on point, man. Verse 3, Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 3. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Okay. Let's get Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. Okay, let me see if I can get... Uh The 18 Nations chart. <clears throat> Maximize it. <clears throat> Table of Nations, according to the Bible, man. It says Israel, Yasha Allah. That's the Hebrew word for Israel. The Lord only care about Israel, man. It says <clears throat> Amos 3 and 2 again. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. And see, look at... uh. All the other nations. The Lord only know Israel, man. He only dealing with Israel. He said he only show his, Jacob his statues, man. Okay. Jacob have I loved. Esau have I hated. 
Number two, the white man, Adawam. Three, India, Elam, Assyria. Okay, Syria. Arabs, Chinese, Japanese, Ethiopians, Egyptians, North Africa, South Africans, Turkey, Russia, Greek, um, the Germans, Spanish, and Cyprus. The Lord is not dealing with none of those nations, man. To this day. Okay. Um, uh, so, yeah. The Lord is going to punish you, man. So you want to seek the Lord. You want to be hid from the Lord's anger, man, because he's coming back to, um, <clears throat> he's coming back with judgment. And as it says in First Peter 4 and 17, they say, for the time has come that the judgment must begin at the house of the Most High Yahweh. So if the Lord is only dealing with Israel, he's coming back to judge his house first, man. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? Salaki. <coughs> what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Because they're going to begin at the house of Israel first, man. They're going to begin at Israel first. So if you ain't been on your watch, you've been faking the funk, scrattling the fence, being a hearer instead of a doer, what you think your end going to be? Because verse 18 specifically says and if the righteous, meaning the hopeful elect, the ones that've been trying to, uh, that that they 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 they've been trying to be blameless, man. Okay. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly in the sinner appear? Yeah, man. That's what's going on. The Lord's finna bring all type of terrible judgments, and the end I'll be out is those nuclear missiles. 200 million missiles are going to hit this place, Babylon, man. This virgin daughter that never been touched. You're getting touched in the eyes of the Lord because it's prophecy. You're going down. It's going to be a desolate place. And if you're partaking into the ways that can lead you to death, you're going to go, you're going to go that way. You're going to find that side, man, death. <clears throat> okay? And stop acting like y'all hard, man. It's only a delusion, a stumbling block. Okay? A big plague of the mind, man. Y'all you, you, are fooling y'all selves, man, thinking that America is going to keep going. It's, you you, 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 you just going to uh, make it on a chariot or just be delivered off your wickedness. No, man, what have you been sacrificing for your how about Shem, I was shot, Jake? This for the men and women. Because the Lord is not going to spare, man. This is who the Lord is going to spare, man. Let's get Ezekiel chapter 9, and let me start at verse 4. And it reads, And the Lord, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashamah Shah said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem is a people before is a place, and set a mark upon the heads, of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay. Let's get what that mark is. Okay. Strong's H8420. Tav. Tav. Okay, we understand that word is the wa, that mark. It means. Desire mark a mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. In Zephaniah chapter two verse three it said, "You want to be hid from the wrath of the Lord, man." So this will this will be an exemption for you. You will be exempt, man. Um, uh, let me go back to the chapter Ezekiel nine and five, and to the others. He said, in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. What smite means? To strike with a firm blow, be strongly attracted to someone or something. Uh, really to kill, man. To strike with a firm blow. And the firm blow of the Lord going to be killing. Fire. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids. Do that sound like the Lord is sparing? No. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children. 
and women. Whoo. Because there's more women than men. A lot of women going to die. A lot of men going to die. A lot of children going to die. By the hands and the power of y'all by Shemal Shah, man. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. That mark of exemption. That's the walk. Not the Karagma, the MOTB, that mark of the beast. No, it's not talking about that mark. It's talking about the exemption. That's the walk. That mark of the beast is literal, meaning that's something that's going to be inserted in you. Okay? Like an incision. Okay? For you to not buy for you to buy or sell. Taking partaking into the image of the beast, man, to Esau's system. Okay? That's not talking about this mark. There's two different marks. This is the mark of exemption. This is what we want. We want to be hid from the Lord's wrath. But come not near any man whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient man which were before the house. Okay? So, yeah. The Lord is not going to spare, man. Second Chronicles 15 and 13. And it reads that whosoever would not seek the Lord... Yahweh by Shemal shall power Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. The Lord is not sparing, man. The Lord is not sparing. The Lord is not sparing, man. He's not a respecter of persons. This is what's coming to this place, man. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7 and it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is not going to be a time like this. That's, it's, it's never been a time like this that's coming, man. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay? The Lord is finna bring pure chaos to this place on the highest level ever, man. This is Jacob's punishment, the 12 tribes. Okay? Judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. This is going to happen whether you like it or not. Whether you believe or not. Okay? The Lord has that day set, man. He know the day and hour. We don't. Even our big bro, Yahweh Shah, doesn't know. But he's ready. Vengeance is in his heart. He says he's not coming to meet you as a man. That's for his own people, the, the, the wicked, elite, um, and you heathens. This is not no joke, man. This truth is deadly serious. You have to be humble and be meek. Learn and understand what you're a part of. It's not about being the, the first one to, uh, you want to be the, the, it's not about you, man. Ultimately, we want salvation we got the same hopes and expectations to be delivered by via chariots man we want to be delivered by those chariots the vehicles of the lord <coughs> okay Oh, yeah, that's the Spirit. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither is ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you that he would not hear. <coughs> See? And it said, For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies, your tongue have muttered perverseness. The Lord can save, man. The Lord hears you, he can save, man. But do you want salvation, Jake? Do you want salvation or you want to perpetuate in wickedness, man? You want continual wick you want continual wickedness. It's not living, bro. It's not living. Look at our look at the stature of the women. They got different colored hairs in their head, looking like all other nations but Israel. They hate themselves. The men Skinny jeans on, pants looking like them your 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 your, your woman pants. Little children being rebellious and wicked. It's not living, man. 
but it's it's a curse, and we understand, man. The Lord punishing us, man. But it won't be for long for the hopeful elect, man, because we're crying out. The Lord understand our spirit, man. We need Him. We're worms in this thing, man. We 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 defenseless in in a sense. Only defense power we have is y'all by some hours shot. And we got to cleave unto the Lord, man. Let the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shah overtake us. Lord willing, y'all was edified. I would like to close out this lesson by giving all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well and labor in 100% doctrine according to this Bible. Okay? Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth and our righteousness and his sincerity. Around the four winds of the earth. A Baba Baal, Kwame Asha Allah, Barak Kao Aki. Fear Yahweh by Shemal Shah or obey by force, Israel. Shalom.